Pat 552. Large radio. Vulcanized. Request for a, a phone patch to a DSM. Phone number. Say when ready to copy. Reach 105 North Atlantic. This is Mars Radio. Radio check over. Another call about uh, the special task force, the C-130, coming in around, arriving at 4 p.m. Over. That is, uh, that should be us. Uh, Jesse, it's not arriving at approximately 1950. Uh, we, we do have the special tactics team with us. And uh, we're trying to hopefully get 25,000 pounds of fuel. Sir, we're about 25 minutes out from the IP and center saying that they're not tracking a ZAP for you. We'd like to get an update on the tanker to see if we want to hold at the IP and see if they're just delayed for their takeoff. This is Action 3. Roger, initiating break break. Cathedral, Cathedral, this is Axel Tree. I'll copy, over. And Axel Tree, I have you down clear to the request, over. Fox Rock copies, uh, working in PRT, coming back around 2130 local with 27 retained, looking for early land. Then it's your uh, left or right aft gear that's stuck down. Hey, okay, Fox Rock copies, we'll coordinate so you can get back to the local area. We'll be Alpha 2, the VHF data link on COM 2 in op. And the SATCOM is in off. All stations, Armed Forces Day crossband test. This is Mars Radio, November 6, Papa, listening on 14343. Over. This is Mars Radio, Delta 3, Papa, over. This is Mars Radio, 0AY, over. Mars Radio has graduated from a convenience for the U.S. Air Force to an asset which is now being counted on for valuable service to active duty and other units. Mark Allen, AFN-60.